Hi crocheters of the world, another round bag because I love them. Uh, after I created this one, you have the link below if you don't, um, if you haven't seen before the, the tutorial of this one. This is easier, I, I, I guess, but I created this one. And this is the one that we will work together on this video, on this tutorial. Now, maybe you will say, oh my gosh, this is so difficult. No, it is not. And believe me, it is not. Now, I was inspired by a design, a very, um, I can say vintage design of um, cushion. Uh, exactly like this. So I found the instructions somewhere on the internet. And um, then I modified them to create the bag. I, I don't know, this, this round flower shape like uh, was something amazing. I said for, for my next round bag, this is just perfect. And look at it, isn't it just lovely? I found it just lovely, not only because I designed it, but it's so, so lovely. Now, I work it, as you can see, with two main colors and three uh, fibers. I used uh, raffia yarn, then I use uh, hemp yarn, and then I use this cord, acrylic cord, polyamidic cord, and I create this contrast, really nice contrast between this is raffia and it's shiny and opaque and I just adore this contrast. As you can see in this one I created the same contrast with opaque and shiny yarn. I really really love this this contrast so we don't, there's no need to use uh, more colors, much more colors. You, you just have to use these two contrasting um, yarns, shiny and opaque, to create a very nice uh, effect to your bag. Not only to your bag, but now we are talking about the bag. Uh, on my uh, shop, on Wana Boutique, you can find all of them. You will need one of this, one of Raffia, one of this one, and two of uh, hemp. So. 100 grams of this one, 300 grams of this one, because one is 300 grams, and 300 grams of this one. Uh, actually, this is what I have after I finish my bag, and this one, okay? So, you can also work the, the, um, the necklace too, with the remaining yarn from the bag, and you can work it with the same colors, so you will have a very nice um, coordinate let's say so it's easy believe me it is easy it is only single crochet and what you have to do is one so we will work one with including the handle and then we will work the other side exactly the same and then we will just slip stitch together all it's so a easy a easy construction I'm so very happy I created it like this so easy to work actually now uh, here this is something that I don't put I didn't put in the tutorial I actually forgot uh, here I as closure I use this you can find it on Wana Boutique too I love it it's really easy it's really nice and it's just perfect and then I put this with hot glue just two circles uh, to create the, the bottom effect actually. Okay, that's all. Hope you will enjoy this tutorial. Now I let you, um, I let you see it. Bye. So we need a multiple of 11 to be repeated 12 times, which means we will begin with a chain of 132 plus one to begin. If you want, you can uh, join in the round, so you don't need this chain one. You will need to do like this. You will just uh, go over your chain, along your chain, like this, 
and you will just put it right with the right side facing you okay as you as you go take your time while doing it it's very important and at the end we will join or if you want it easier okay so you can do it like this so if you want to join the chain you won't need the chain one after the 132 if you don't want to join because maybe it is easier like this okay I am ready okay like this so you just join and you will begin to work two into the first chain okay if you don't want you will just chain one more and into the very next we can insert hook on the back side you will just work two single crochet for the rest of the pattern we will work four single crochet one two three and four into the next four chains then you will work you will skip two one and two then you will work again four one two three and four and into the next you will work three one two and three and this is the way you will just repeat so this is the pattern to repeat so four single crochets into the next four then you will skip two chains three and four skip two chains and into uh, into the next go ahead and work again for one into the next four one two three and four into the next work three single crochets okay so this is a sequence to repeat till the end I will show you how to finish again work four single crochets one two three and four skip two chains and from the next again into the next four chains work one two three and four and to the next three to get continue on like this I will show you how to finish this very first row so I am at almost at the end I have six chains to the end and into this six so I worked four three together into the same single crochet and four more now what I need to do into the last six I will skip two and then into the last four I will work four single crochets one two three and four here it is exactly my last one my last chain okay so I have my last four now very very carefully we have to take it I will put it actually like this okay so with the three together on the on this side like this okay three together we must have 12 three together okay like this so just be sure that it is perfect okay so now we are like this what I need to do to fit to to join 
is to answer to exactly was uh, into the first chain where I worked the two single crochets. This is my first chain. I will insert hook again into it and I will single crochet one more. So now I have my three together. Insert hook into the first single crochet two and slip stitch to join. This is what we have. Now you can pass the tail like this. And this is what we have, this is what we must have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So there must be twelve. Okay, from this round we will always work like this. Chain one, insert hook into the very first single crochet, this one in the middle, and work single crochets. Uh, two single crochets. Now into the next four back loop only, we will always work back loop only, into the next four just work one, two, three and four single crochets. Skip two single crochets and go ahead and work four single crochets. Two, three and four into the next single crochet, insert your hook into the stitch actually and work three single crochets. Okay, so actually it's the same pattern, only that now we work into the single crochets. Into the next four single crochets, go ahead and work four single crochets. So it's one, two, three, four. Back loop only. Skip two single crochets and again four single crochets into the next three together. One, two, three and four. Into the next insert hook actually into the stitch and work three together. And go ahead and repeat this. You will end the row, the round, sorry, with a single crochet where you already worked two single crochet and slip stitch into the first single crochet. I will show you how to um, how to change the color. I change the color each two rounds for my first six rounds and then I change it uh, only three rounds for two times. I almost finished my round, I have one, two, three, four, I will insert hook into my very first where I worked the two and I will work my third. Then insert hook into the single crochet and slip stitch to join. Now what I want to show you here is how to change. So I will work uh, my next two rounds with the hemp and then other two rounds with the raffia. So insert hook here into this one, pull up a loop with your, you can work with the same yarn but change color. This is a pattern that it is so really beautiful um, in two or three colors. Okay, even more. So now I will insert hook into the single crochet, the same where we joined and work one and two single crochets again. Okay, put the marker into the very first one. You can just cut the yarn that you worked with the first two rounds. And now we will of course work uh, over the tails and we will just continue on in pattern. Now I will work in pattern uh, with this one two, four, um, four plus three, so it's um, seven more rounds. Exactly the same thing, only that I will change color, I will switch to the raffia and then the last three uh, of my seven that I, that I want to work uh, there will be with, with this uh, cord, shiny cord again and then I will be back to show you how to work the last three rounds because we have two, four, six plus six, there are 12 rounds, total of 12 rounds that we need to work. So I'm back because I finished the rounds that I said that I want to finish and I have two, 
four, six, plus three, here I have three, or nine. And we need to complete with three more before we finish this lovely flower. But the first one will be with increases. That's why I'm back to show you. First, before I want to uh, just close the middle oops, of my flower, which means, which means, I will just slip stitch and I will just cut the yarn because you know it's just I will have to change colors which to another color and before of all I just want to um, as I said to show you how to I am here so you can if you want you can just begin by sewing these two together and then these two together and so on. Or you will do exactly as I do. Here, just in the middle, you insert and you go into the next. And into the next we have 12 to join together. So from my point of view, it's really easy like this. And believe me, it's nice and close enough there won't be problems okay I am at the end so I will insert here and now all they need to do is to close this and like this then I will just make a nice knot here yes that's it and this is what I have so far isn't it just gorgeous? I think it's it's lovely. Lovely, lovely. And uh, yes, this is what I have. Now I will do some uh, knots, more knots here in the middle. But before, uh, but now uh, I just want to show you how to uh, continue, actually how to work the last three rounds. And the, the first of these three, the first round, of this three is like this we can just insert the hook and pull through then we join the new yarn if you want to change the yarn it's better and of course we will we will just insert the hook let me just let me just see what am I doing here. Yes, it's okay. This is the last, and it's just want to see. No, it was not okay because this is the last, and this is the one that we need to join and just cover it so the second actually the first that we did at the beginning okay now I am into the right position so I can so I can begin with the new color and just pull pull tight and let us begin so we will work exactly the same thing as we worked for the rest of the pattern two single crochets at the beginning only that we will work on our four one two and into the third which is this one we will work an increase so we work one and two and then we will work the fourth single crochet and we will skip two and now from this part we work like this we work one and then the increase into the next you know we, we have to work uh, four so we work one the increase and two more one and two and of course in the middle in the middle we just work 
three together. One, two, and three. Okay, and on the other side, we work exactly as I shown you at the beginning. We work one and two, and into the third, we work the increase. So like this, it is into, let's say, the same stitch on one side and on the other side. Anyway, in each side of four single crochets, we need to put an increase, okay, in this, and I work the last, in this uh, round. One, two, so I work one, and into the very next I work the increase. One, and two. Then I will work two more, one and two, because we need to work four in four stitches. Then in the middle we work the increase of uh, three stitches, two, three, as we know. And then we go down with one and two. And into the next we just increase one and two and we don't forget to work the last stitch the last single crochet before we skip two okay that's it this is how we will continue on all around so I already began the second round after the increase and it's really easy it's only that instead of four we work five that's all the rest is exactly the same so one two, three, and four, and five. So we work five, we skip two, one, two, and we go ahead and work five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three into the same stitch here in the middle, on the top, one, two, and three and then again instead of four we work five so this is the only thing that will be different two three four and five the only thing that will be different instead of four we work five so skip two and again one two three four and five Go ahead and work like this two more rounds so this one actually and one more with the increasing round there must be three rounds okay and then cut the yarn we finish the flower two three four and five okay so well, I have to work one more, this one to complete, and one more, and I will cut the yarn. Okay, now let me show you a, um, let's say, the boring part of this um, design. It's this. We have to um, put in each um, space that we have here in between the, the stars, let's say, the this we have to put a nice triangle to, to, to make it round. This is the idea, okay? So from the star shape to uh, get a round shape, we have to work in each of them. So we work one and we cut the yarn, one and we cut the yarn, as you can see. Okay, that's it, we need to do it. And there are 12 on one, 12 on the other one, so 24 <laughs> total, but believe me, uh, so, Actually, if you like the pattern, you will really uh, like to, to work it like this, even with this boring part. Now, let's see how. So here I have, in the middle actually, into the second, I always have left side, front. I always have a marker. And from here, I will count five. One, two, three, four, five. Now here I have one, two, and then again, one, two, three, four, five. And I want to insert my hook into the next. I think it's one, two, three, four, five. Yes, it's okay. Like this. It's very important to have the stitches right. One, two, three, four, 
five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we have them. So we have five plus two in the middle plus five. Okay, now that we have them with the front side facing us, very important. I will count again from the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Insert hook into the very next. And folding the yarn, pull up a loop. Oh, this is too much. <laughs> Okay, now we have the loop, we will chain and we will insert hook into the very next and we pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn yeah, over pull through two and we have the very first single crochet. Now we will work two more into the next two single crochets, working over the tail two. So one and two. Now what we want to do is to insert hook into the very next and to slip stitch in it. We have one, two, three single crochets. Turn your work. Insert hook into the very first of these three and single crochet into it. Single crochet into the next. This is second. Single crochet into the next. And this is the third single crochet. Now go ahead and single crochet into the next two. Try to do it so you won't leave a ugly hole. Okay, this is one. Insert hook into the next two. Insert hook into the next and slip stitch. Turn and work five, one, two, three, four, five single crochets, skipping the very first uh, stitch, which is the slip stitch. One, this is the first, oops, two, three, four, And five. There it is. Now I will go ahead and get again and work into the very next two single crochets. Into the very next, uh, yes, two single crochets, two single crochets. So one. Into the next one. And now into the stitch with the marker, I will take off the marker, we will slip stitch. Only in this one that is on the left side, we slip stitch. Okay? Now turn and work your seven single crochets. So insert hook into the first and work it. One. Insert hook into the next. This is two. Three, four, five, six, and into the very next we work seven. Now into the next two stitches. Insert hook into the first, nice and tight, eight, into the next, nine. Now we won't slip stitch here. So when we finish, we won't slip stitch, we just work a chain and we cut the yarn. We cut the yarn and this is what we have. Okay, we'll, we'll remain like this, don't worry, to the very next row we will work a, uh, sorry, <laughs> we will wake, uh, work a round and we will just join all these triangles. So, this is how you will work all around. So, I have here again, on the left side, I, I uh, have my marker from here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five into the very next, 
put the marker. Where is? Is this one? Is this one? Is this one? From here, count one, two, three, four, five. And into the very next, you will begin with another triangle. One, two, three, four, five. Here. You work three single crochets, then you uh, will work two more. So five, then seven, then nine. So this is the idea. Okay. Just be patient and work all of your triangles. So you will have a very, very exclusive bag, summer bag. This is my first one. Okay, I will continue on and then I will be back to show you how to, to show you the next. <laughs> okay, so now when you are ready, cover, when you covered all the spaces, as I shown you, so you have 12, you have nine single crochets and in between of them we will always, we will work one. So there will be 10 per one space, which means we have 12 spaces. So in this round we will work 120 uh, single crochets. So take off the marker, insert hook into this single crochet in between and just insert hook, pull the loop chain and single crochet into it. We will work the tails so you won't have nothing, uh, you won't have anything to wave in because we just work the tail. So this is one, then I will continue on with the sequence, two, I will put the marker into my first single crochet, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there must be ten with the last one. Is a little bit, a little bit snug. Okay, and now in between I will work one, and I will continue on like this. Okay, one plus nine are exactly uh, ten. So continue on all around and work over the tails too, so you won't have nothing. You won't have anything uh, at all left after this uh, this round. Then we will work three more rounds but I will show you how because we will also uh, incorporate the chain for the ha handle. So I finished my first round, I finished it here and from here I will work the handle. Now how to work the handle? You will count 30 stitches from, so uh, it's on one, two, three, four uh, star points. Okay, one, two, three, four. 30 stitches. And over these 30 stitches, I will work 50 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, oops, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and I will be back 17. So, I finished. I also single crochet into the stitch with the marker and I put the marker in because it's here that I will have uh, the beginning and, and the end of the rounds. From now on, I have to work three, uh, two more um, rounds. So I will just go ahead and work all around and when I be, be, be back here, I just want to show you how to work, but you will just work each stitch into each stitch for a total of 50. So as you can see, I am working over the handle, okay? 
when I will be here at the end of the round, I will begin another round without slip stitch. So just single crochet, put the marker on and go ahead and work one more round. So two rounds, not three, sorry, uh, two rounds you will work like this and and that's all. The last part, so you have to work, you have to have <laughs> two identical parts like this, okay, obvious. This is just one side, we need one more side. And then I will show you the last step finish your bag, how to join together the two parts. Okay. When you work with raffia, I don't know if you have already worked before, let me just know your opinion. I will tell you mine. It's nice to work with raffia. It's a little bit rigid. Oh, it is rigid. So mm, let's say it's um, from my point of view. We have to take our time when we work with raffia because it's not that we can go fast. That's for sure. But what we work with raffia, it's just lovely. It it's just lovely. I will work one or two summer hats too because yes I really really love the effect so here I am at the end now nothing just take off the marker and go ahead and work the first single crochet into the stitch where you had the marker and then you will just continue on like this without slip stitch and put the marker on again so you will know at the end anyway you will know because it's at the end of the handle but still maybe it's better if you put the here it is okay I will finish my next round and as I said before I will show you how to work the last part the last step to have the bag ready Okay, so I have it both sides and now what I need to do because I have these points of my star I will go ahead and put one side and the other size aside I will join in each point with some uh, crepes yarn crepe yarn or uh, markers or anyway just join okay let me show you you don't need to count just try to be more or less like this one I'll insert hook here and yes here okay like this so will be much more easier for us to join after we will divide like this, we will join like this, this is the first, okay, like this. And now, I already began, here you can single crochet, so in the middle on the uh, bottom part, you can single crochet or you can uh, single crochet or you can slip stitch. Okay, I single crochet, okay, like this. So only one loop, the inner loop is one. Both parts obvious because we are joining like this. And single crochet. I choose to single crochet, now I need to take off this marker and once we are at the marker, next marker or crap yarn, we will take it off and we will continue on like this. What we need here is a little bit of patience, but at the end we will have a lovely, such a lovely bag. Okay, so let me show you. It, it will be like this at the end, mine. Now, 
of course we have to draw in the back part but you can draw in the handles too so this is actually up to you i really don't know if i will or i won't i began here because i think i will join these two together okay so we'll be just one if you don't want to join the two handles then you will begin here okay at the end of the handles you will go around and uh, you will go until you will reach the other side of the handles but if you want to join all as i think i will um then you you will begin on the bottom part in the middle okay so let me just finish mine and you already know the the result you already you've already seen it at the beginning of the tutorial so what can i say hope you enjoy this project hope you enjoy this idea of mine hope i i give you some idea for a new project and the inspiration at least see you at the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials and bye